everyone. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful morning or evening whenever you're watching this video. How are we all? I look like I just woke up because I did not too long ago. I made my coffee with you guys. Today's very exciting. It's also very rainy, which sucks because it's an exciting day, but it's also raining. But today I'm getting a new car. I'm not like getting getting it not to like keep or anything but i am getting a rental for a while i don't know how long it's gonna be probably for a bit my car has to go into the shop for some needs to have some work done <laughs> and uh, i need to get a rental car and i already booked an appointment and i wanted to get a luxury car they say that they have like audis bmws mercedes i'm currently driving a mercedes right now so maybe i would try something different like an audi or a, like a nice bmw or something i would try that i'm gonna try to get an audi if i can like an audi a5 so Cross, cross your fingers that I can find something really fun. And we were going to go into the city today to run around and like have a good time. But it's, of course, raining. So we'll probably wait until like tomorrow or Thursday or something to go into the city. But sorry about that like quick little thing there. I had to put something on my lips. I just could not stand seeing myself in the camera without anything on my lips. I have to go get my car, the rental car at 11.30 and it's currently almost 10. So we have about an hour and a half before we have to be up there. So yeah, I will come back to you whenever we get ready to go pick up the rental car. Good afternoon, everyone. It is the next day. So little update regarding the car situation. I did go yesterday and they did give me a rental now. I was honestly pretty disappointed as to the kind of rental that I got. Maybe it's just me. I don't love the type of car that they set me up with. I'll show you what it looks like here in a minute, but it's called, it's a Lincoln, which I've never driven a Lincoln before. I've seen them all the time. Like I've seen them on the road a bunch, but I don't love those cars. I know they are considered luxury cars. They are very nice. They're just not my vibe. I just don't love the look of them. And I'm very much like a looks person i just want the car to look pretty <laughs> and if the car doesn't like look pretty to me then i don't like it so it's not really that i even know anything about cars because i don't like i don't know like specs or like how good a car is the ins and outs uh, or anything i just know by pure vibes and aesthetics and what i like in a car and that is the appearance so i don't love this car it drives pretty well it's like a lincoln mkc i believe it's okay i'll show you what that looks like here in a minute but today it's been a whole situation with enterprise <laughs> i called up there this morning to see because the guy yesterday told me that there was going to be an audi that was going to be brought back so an audi a3 2024 version and then he said you know call us in the morning he told me this yesterday he said call us in the morning see if we got it back and then you can come get that one so i called and they said that they had got it back so i went over there and i was there for like an hour and then after like 45 minutes the guy says uh the brakes on the audi are not working very well they're like squealing so we're gonna have to see if we can find you a different car and number one i'm thinking if you got it back super early you know that day like in the morning why wouldn't you drive it the first thing because when i called to see if they got the Audi back, the guy said yes and it's being cleaned. In my mind, I was thinking, oh, okay, they already drove it, they already made sure that it was okay and it's just being cleaned now. But no, apparently they don't test drive it until after they clean it or that's what happened in my case. And I'm just like, that is so like counterintuitive. Why would you clean the car first and then test drive it to make it's okay, to make sure it's okay? Why wouldn't you just test drive it first thing and then if it's working, then clean it for the next customer and if it's not working then you can just take it to the shop it doesn't matter if it's dirty at the shop you know so i was already there for 45 minutes then he told me that and i'm just like oh my goodness <laughs> and i know that this is a very like first world problem because i got a car i got a luxury type car because i chose to get a luxury car i got a luxury type car so i know i shouldn't be complaining i just 
don't love the car that I got. Maybe that's just me. Like I know that I'm just complaining. There's nothing actually wrong with the car that I got. Just, I wanna come out and say that. I know that I'm making it harder than it needs to be. I understand that. I'm gonna be driving it for a while. I'm gonna be driving it for almost a month. So I just wanna make sure that it's something that I'm, that I like a lot. I was very nice to the guys and the guys are very nice up there uh, where I went to. I was just like, okay, well, is there anything else like regarding any other store, any other enterprise location? And he said, well, let me call around and see what we, what else we can find. So there's two locations that are a bit further away from me in a different town, different city. One location has a BMW M, no, 1X, MX, 1X. I forgot exactly what it was, but it's kind of like a very small SUV and I don't love SUVs. I usually just prefer regular car cars. So I said, well, if that's all that's available, then of course I'll get that. But what other things are available? He said, okay, well, that at the furthest location in the other city, there is a enterprise location that has a Alfa Romeo, which I had never heard of an Alfa Romeo. And he said that it's an Italian type car. And then I called Raf and he said, oh yeah, Alfa Romeos are great cars. They're like sports cars. So I was like, ooh, that sounds nice. So it's a 2022 Alfa Romeo and it's red. I usually hate colored cars. I usually don't like them very much. I would always prefer black or white, but this one is red. And I was like, you know what? Let's be adventurous. Let's give it a shot. So that is what I'm waiting to go pick up right now. He said that the car was just getting an oil change and then it should be ready in a few hours to come pick up. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be really nice. I've never driven like a sports car before, so I'm really excited to see what I think about it. And yeah, I'm really excited to go get it. I hope that nothing's wrong with it. Like, I really hope that it is okay. But let me go out into the garage and then I will show you the car that I currently have. Okay, please do not mind the state of the garage. I know it's absolutely disgusting in here. Please don't mind the garage. I'm so sorry. But here is what I'm currently working with. It's cute. Like, I don't hate it. Like, it looks nice. And then in the front, you have that really big grill going on and it has like the Lincoln logo. Here's the back. I'll do like a better job at filming this once I leave again and I'll show you a better, prettier look at it. But this one's white, as you can see, it's got a massive trunk, but this one is the MKC. I mean, it's really pretty and it's a 2.3 T, whatever that means, I don't know. But it is a really pretty car. Like I think that this one is very nice. It's really easy to drive. It's very smooth on the road. But yeah, that's what I'm currently working with, but I can't wait to show you the Alfa Romeo Giulia. Let me show you the inside. So here is what it looks like on the inside. It's black interior. I kind of hope that the interior on the Alfa is either like a brown or even red. Like that'd be cool. Like I'm already getting a red car. So if the interior is red, that'd be fun. Here's the steering wheel. And then here is this. It's got a nice screen on the front. And then all of the stuff for like engine, park, reverse, neutral, and drive are right here. It took me a good 10 minutes to try to figure out how the hell to back up the car when I was taking it out of the parking lot at Enterprise yesterday. I was like, how the hell do I do this? But I am very, very excited to show you the Alpha whenever I end up getting that. Hopefully, cross, fingers crossed, I do get it because I think it's gonna be stunning. Anyways, that's all for now. I'm gonna go and then I will let you know, give you an, an update whenever something else fun happens, whenever I get the call that the alpha is ready. And yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, you guys, we are out. I got the other car, I'm so excited. I will show it to you here in a minute, but we're out eating right now. Of course, Raph got steak and fries and then I got these really cute little sliders. They're they look great. So I'm gonna eat this and then we'll go out and show you the car. Here she is, you guys. Oh my God. It's really pretty red. Again, I'm not like super used to having a colored car, but it's stunning. I hope you can hear me okay. It is really windy today. Here's the front. It says Alfa Romeo and then it's the Giulia, but I don't know what type of Giulia it is. If it's the Quadrifoglio or the Veloce. But, oh, it's so beautiful. Here's what she looks like on the inside. 
It has black interior, unfortunately. I was hoping for like red or brown, but it's okay. Really pretty car. I'll show you some more like ins and outs later, but yeah. I used to set you guys up down here because I haven't filmed down here in the kitchen in a long time and I feel like this weird space right here is just odd. That's better, I think. That's good. Hi, how are you doing today? It is Sunday. It is Easter this year, which is March 31st. That's so weird that Easter is in March this year. I don't, it's throwing me off. <laughs> but I made my coffee. I got this cute glass. It's called cold brew coffee it looks like this it's so cute and i forget where i got these from i'll have to go back these took forever to arrive they took like two months <laughs> to get here which is insane but they're really cute so it was worth the wait i got two i got this one and i got one that's like my mental breakdown cup i feel like you've seen that one everywhere on like etsy and, and stuff but it's very good i used brown sugar cinnamon syrup from turani and it's great turani turani i forgot how you say it but i used that syrup it was really good Today's Easter. I got my brows and my lashes done yesterday. If you can tell, my brows are very intense at the moment, which I personally still like. Um, I know a lot of people don't love the super intense eyebrows. I don't have anything in them. She did like the tint and the lamination and there's nothing in them right now. This is just, I wish they would just stay like this. <laughs> maybe a tiny bit less dramatic because they're very bold. So maybe a little bit less, but then after that, I wish they would just stay like tinted and kind of dark and up just so all i have to do is just put in brow gel in the morning and that's it and then i got my lashes done yesterday as well i got them redone i love getting my lashes done it just makes everything so much easier uh today i am gonna get ready me and my parents are going to go eat and i don't know where we're gonna go uh, I don't know what they've decided, but I know we're just gonna go eat something for Easter and then I think they'll come back over here and we'll just have like dessert or something like that and just hang out and chill for the day. I'm still driving the rental car, which I love. I'm obsessed with that car, but I'm excited to get my car back. They say that my car should be done by April 15th. So it is taking them quite a while to do my car. I'm excited to have my car back. I love my car and I can't wait to go to the car wash and get her all clean and sparkly and like clean on the inside. It's just gonna make me feel great once it's clean. I'm gonna go and then I will let you know when something else fun happens I'll keep you posted whenever we end up going to lunch. I'll show you wherever we end up going, but yeah Hello everyone, it's the next day. I hope you had a wonderful Easter if you celebrate. I have a Sephora haul to share with you guys really quick. I didn't get very many things from Sephora, but uh, some of the stuff that I did get, I'm really excited about it. First thing, if you've seen on TikTok, everyone and their mom is losing their mind over this fragrance from Fleur. This is the Vanilla Skin. It is just their hair and body fragrance mist. It's kind of just like a body mist. Like, oh shit, did I open it wrong? Oh no, oh no, I just broke the seal. I was like, oh my God, that sounded so weird. I mean, it looks really cute. <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me see if I spray it. That smells good. Oh, it's gonna make me sneeze. That smells great though. I understand um, why people love this so much. I can't smell very much of anything. Like I just don't have a very good sense of smell. And also my allergies are bothering me right now. So that's just makes it worse. But I can smell this to an extent and it's pretty good. The notes are, the top notes are pink pepper. Oh, that's why it makes me sneeze. It's bloody pepper. Pink pepper, pink apple, and then sugar crystals. The middle notes are lily, jasmine, petals, and cashmere wood. And then the base is benzoin, vanilla, sandalwood, and agar wood. Agar wood. Agar wood. I don't know. This is just very hyped up at the moment, and I think it's really cute. And then, 
I got two of these that I'm so excited about. This is the main reason why I placed this order because Gisu, is that how you say this brand? I always am saying it wrong. I don't think it's Gisu, but Gisu, Gisu, they came out with more flavors or like more shades of their honey infused lip oil. I was so excited when I discovered that they came out with more shades. So I got two of these. This one that's called uh, Strawberry Sorbet. I also just love the packaging on these, to be honest. The packaging is so freaking cute, oh my God. Look, oh, I love the packaging so much. I have no idea if these are going to be like super pigmented. I kind of hope that they're not like crazy pigmented. It's not like a lipstick and it's not a lip gloss. I think it's just lip oil. And then this one is called Watermelon Sugar and it's like sparkly, it's got little glitters. And they're, oh, these are so cute. So let's see, ooh, look at that applicator. That looks really nice. Yeah, it is pretty sheer, so that's nice. This is the first one, the strawberry sorbet, and then watermelon sugar is very clear, but it does have a little bit of shimmer to it. So this one is watermelon sugar. You can see it's clear, but it has a little bit of sparkle, and then this one is the strawberry sorbet. Love these. So this is what the strawberry sorbet looks like on the lips. I love it. I think it's so cute. These are going to be like my new favorite lip oils. I just love lip products. And speaking of lip products, the last thing that I got in this package today is another lip product. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. And this was a new flavor that they came out with. It's called Sweet Candy. But I have one of these already and I have it in like, I don't know what shade, but I have it in one of their regular shades. But this one is like a, it's like a new shade. And I love this lip product. I think it's so nice. It's so easy just to throw on. Oh yeah. So the one that I have is definitely a little more pinky. This one looks to be like very light pink, kind of like almost clear, but it does have a little bit of, I don't know, color. But yeah, that's what I got today. That's been my little Sephora haul. Mostly lip products and, oh shit, my God. And a fragrance. <laughs> That's, that's that. I should probably just go ahead and end this vlog. I've been vlogging for a few days. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that you liked seeing my two rental cars. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you had a great Easter. But if you did, go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to. And be sure to ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.